Hi, Jason Baker here with the Jason Baker team at Keller Williams, Western Montana. Hope you're having an awesome day. Just wanted to reach out to you today. Um, there is what's going. So this is your quarter one report from myself. So I've been doing research over the last little bit and listening to the experts around the country. And it's unanimous. The market is shifting downward as far as price increases. We're flattening on the price and some places going down in price. In December, there was six point year over year, okay, which means that's not seasonal. So December versus December of 18 versus 17, we're down 6.4% on the resale of homes, okay? So here's the thing. We're going from a normal market to an abnormal market, and it's important that you understand the difference and know what that is, okay? So I want to explain, like, an abnormal market that we've really been in for the last four or five years is very few houses for sale, extremely low interest rates, and very low days on market with rapid uh, rising uh, prices, okay? So because the rates were so low, the price could, prices could go up because people could afford so much more house for the same payment. OK, so very low days on market, very high prices, very low rates. OK, very fat and then rising appreciation. The, the prices just went crazy. Um, a normal and, you know, virtually homes were selling in 30 days. Virtually homes were selling despite the agent it was listed with. Whether there was a marketing plan or not, you could snap a cell phone photo, which so many of them do, and then they put it on the MLS. OK, so anyway, a normal market is when we have which we're in now is when we have four to six months on the market. OK, so understand you're going to wait longer for the house to sell in most cases. OK, and we're going to have higher interest rates, double or triple the inventory on the market in longer days on market. OK, so be prepared for that. Now, for sellers, there's a few issues. You're still thinking because you haven't read the article yet because it, maybe it hasn't come out that the market is shifting. Usually those come three to six months after it actually shifts because a reporter finally hears about it. OK, so sellers are going to think their home is still worth way up here when really it's just below that. OK, that's what so they're going to be thinking and they're not going to allow a price reduction and their house will just expire. We just had 650 homes expire inside of our MLS. So in the best market we've ever had, 650 homes expired. Hmm. OK, so when you have more homes on the market, there is more for the buyers to purchase. There's more for them to choose from. So what you used to be able to sell a year ago, a house with some edge, some deferred maintenance, et cetera, this year, you're not going to be able to sell it for that price. You either have to fix those things if it's financially feasible or adjust your price accordingly so the buyer would be triggered to make an offer to you. OK, that doesn't mean you need to run out and fix your house, because more than anything, it is so important to get your house on the market. Now, they're the biggest realtor myth I have ever seen. I seriously and no offense to the realtors that are watching this, but I seriously think that they take like they say that nothing sells from October until March. Maybe that's just when they're on vacation. But this is Montana. If you can't handle snow and cold and, and whatever else comes along with it, you're not here anyway. Houses sell every month, every year. Now, let me ask you this. If there's 200 homes in the market right now or 300 homes in the market right now, and there's going to be 600 or 700 on the market in three months, when do you think you'd make more money? Now, I'm waiting. OK, you, you, now everything has to do with how many are for sale competing against yours if you're a seller. OK, so in order to net the most amount of money, get it on the market now and don't delay in doing that. I'd love to help you with that, by the way. OK, now the uh, the other thing, too, for buyers, how, how is a buyer going to take advantage of this market? Because we have so many buyers watching this video as well. A buyer can take advantage of this market by understanding that there's going to be more houses for them to choose from than ever before or since they re can remember. They're going to be able to get a little bit more aggressive on their offers, although keep in mind, the sellers still think their houses are worth that much. We're not going to see huge price decreases, maybe 5% over the next year, potentially 10 in some price ranges. It depends on how much money really it remains to be seen, but it really depends on how many homes come on the market this coming spring and summer. OK, so again, the smart sellers sell now and the smart buyers buy now. And the reason why that is, is because the interest rates are supposed to go up maybe into the mid to high fives, maybe even to the six percent. You just never know. OK, so watch those interest rates, buyers. Be ready to go out and look because there's going to be more available to you than ever before, which is great. OK, so that's a, a bonus. And if there's anything that we can do to help you sell or buy, please call. 
people always say, well, Jason, what, what is a team? Look, there's 191 things. The reason why when you call so many people, they don't call you back for a long time is because there's 192 things to do on a file, whether you're buying a home or whether you're selling a home. It's not just to sign in some flyers and you know, throw it up on the MLS. I wish. Yeah, but uh, that's unfortunately not what it is. So we have 10 people here in my office, you know, five or six that have their license or can sell in some way, shape or form and three or four in the admin department. So the admin concentrates on admin while our marketing team concentrates on marketing and our sales team concentrates on sales. Okay, that's why we're so attentive. So the reason why I do that. Well, it does cause gray hair sometimes, but the reason why I do that is to provide you, the buyer or seller, with a better service for no more money, okay? So if you want 10 people for the price of one, I would probably give me a call at the number below. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if I can help you in 2019. Thanks.